you guys so much. Thank you. I have one more. It's a completely obscure question. It's kind of one of my things that I'm going to be doing in all these interviews. Just a completely obscure question that has nothing to do with anything. So I'm going to ask you this. UFOs, okay. UAPs, whatever you want to call them, they have been officially recognized by the United States government as being a real thing. They're saying, we don't know what they are. Do you think that they're military vehicles? Do you think that they're spaceships, aliens, humans, inter- interdimensional travelers? What's your uh, what's Soren's hot take on, uh, on Ooh, that? Oh, this is a good question. First of all, this, now you're opening a rabbit hole. <laughs> this is my jam. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm the guy who's all about ancient civilizations and all that kind of stuff. Atlantis well, and I, things like that. Yeah, I'm all about it. So I also do think we live in a simulation, honestly. I think that there's a lot of proof that we're living in a simulation. So maybe it's just code telling us that suddenly there's something else to, to up the game. I don't know. Until I see a legitimate proof that they're there, I'm not going to believe that, that they're real. Okay. So you said a simulation. So Neil deGrasse Tyson, the I don't mm-hmm. know what, what his official t- physicist or whatever, whatever he is. He's got 8012 8012 doctorates or whatever. He says that there's a 33.333333 percent chance that we are living in a simulation he says Mm -hmm. either somebody is in control of us nobody's in control of us or somebody created us and is just like just letting it go so you're not far off from that as per neil degrasse tyson so i'm with you on that man it's i think it's a high possibility that uh you know we might be in a in a simulation I, i i think in a lot of ways this feels a bit like a video game like it's it's almost like you know if and I feel it would it would explain a lot of things and and in the end you know we are we are all sentient beings and we have the right to be spiritual and to believe in whatever we want to believe in but I do think that there are so many weird coincidences and a lot of these things happen in in clusters so for example the UFOs I know people have been talking about UFOs for a long time you know I'm I'm not saying that they aren't real. But I think that, you know, the second I see proof, I hope that they're real. I really do. I would love to see that, that it's a thing, you know. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe maybe in, what is it, 2070, uh, the Vulcans come down and the guy who wrote Star Trek was actually a time traveler. I don't know. Oh, but, that's but I feel, very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I, feel like, I feel like there's so much beautiful unknowingness going on out there and that is so exciting to me i i love all of that but one of those coincidences that you're talking about i find it very coincidental that keanu reeves plays the one in the matrix and then you know now all of a sudden keanu reeves looks alarmingly like jesus christ i'm not saying it's true but you know (laughs) it's uh pretty coincidental anyways all right man well uh soren hansen from new politics i am so happy to to talk to you it's it's been too long um you know make sure you, you hit me back with a text every once in a while i'll hit you up and um uh hopefully we can uh hook up in in not hook up, wrong words. Hopefully we can uh, <laughs> meet up at, at some point uh, in the not too distant future and, and uh, knock a couple back and, and uh, just reminisce about the that. good times. I love that. Yeah, I love that. And thank you so much for reaching out and for having me. And thank you so much, Rochester area, for always being seriously the best and most positive, fun-loving group of people. And, you know, that's those some of my best memories come from, from from you guys so yeah thank you so much for having me i really appreciate it yeah we appreciate you man good talking to you buddy thank you good night